Uh, my name is Dr. Leila Habib. I'm an assistant professor in the Biomedical Engineering Unit in the Department of Physiology at the Faculty of Medicine at Kuwait University. I uh, returned to Kuwait after receiving my PhD in Biomedical Engineering at the University of California in San Diego where I also obtained my master's and um, I obtained my bachelor's degree at the University of Iowa. Well, my research focuses on studying a type of um, muscular dystrophy uh, and they're called limb girdle muscular dystrophies. These are rare hereditary muscular dystrophies that are autosomal recessive. Although they're relatively rare worldwide, they're um, a bit more common in our societies uh, in the Middle East, in the Gulf, in Kuwait especially. So um, I decided to use a type of stem cell called induced pluripotent stem cells to study these types of diseases. And um, the great thing about these stem cells is that they are similar to embryonic stem cells in that they have the ability to self-renew and to differentiate into any cell in the body, but you circumvent all the ethical issues associated with embryonic stem cell in that these cells are taken or they're created from adult patient cells that carry the genetic mutation of this particular patient. And in my case, I take skin cells from um, my patients and then we genetically reprogram them um, in cooperation with my collaborators at MIT to the stem cell state. And then from the stem cell, you can differentiate them into any cell in the body. It gives us access to large quantities of cells like muscle cells or neural cells that we don't usually have access to. We can't really ask a patient to donate his muscles or do donate his neurons, his, his brain cells. So it gives us as scientists um, access to these large quantities of cells that allow us to study it um, in a petri dish in the lab. And then one day, hopefully inshallah, to, to, find a, to develop therapies and find a cure. Um, my research was funded by the, uh, from CAFIS actually, from the Kuwait MIT program. And um, the idea behind it was to first identify these patients in Kuwait that have um, uh, different forms of muscular dystrophy, uh, limb girdle muscular dystrophies to be specific and um, to genetically diagnose them. That's something that's not really done very often in Kuwait, um, maybe due to lack of resources or expertise, but that was my first task when I arrived, was to genetically diagnose these patients. And that was quite a task in itself, but alhamdulillah, I had very good collaborations with clinicians at Mustesh Mbarak and then um, Ibn Sina. And we were able to identify these patients, genetically diagnose them. And then after that, for the patients who gave consent, we gathered a very small skin biopsy um, from them, grew these cells in, in the lab, and then genetically reprogrammed them um, with, the, with the help of researchers at MIT to a stem cell state. So that's where I am right now. Um, the next step is to use these stem cells or differentiate these stem cells into muscle cells in our case. Um, and these muscle cells will carry the genetic mutation of the original patient. So that is, that'll allow us to kind of study the molecular mechanism of the disease in a, just, in, in a dish. Um, so we will see how that genetic mutation uh, leads to the symptoms we see in the patient. So how does that affect the proteins in the cell and then eventually how it affects the um, the patient, the symptoms we observe in the cell. And once we understand the disease, um, we can then develop cures. Um, and in our, our case, uh, what I wanted to do with the uh, researchers at MIT is to develop disease models and then screen for therapies. So that's the next step, inshallah. Well, CAFIS is one of the biggest uh, nonprofit institutes in Kuwait that fund uh, and promote research um, so I feel like any, any researcher in Kuwait knows KFS. Um, they're the two main funding sources, I believe, at least for me. I work in Kuwait University. One of them is um, Kuwait University, and the second largest one is, or maybe even the largest one, is KFIS. And what's really great about KFIS is that they pr promote international collaborations. Um, they have programs specifically for this cause to promote uh, research or collaborative research efforts between us as Kuwaiti researchers and the top universities worldwide. They funded my first research project. They got me to this point where I am today, and they allowed me to um, uh, collaborate with MIT and um, well, 
They funded my first research project uh, when I returned to Kuwait that allowed me to diagnose patients, uh, gather their cells, and um, create stem cells. So the next step, inshallah, and I hope to use um, some of the, the funds that were provided by the fellowship um, L'Oreal UNESCO uh, awarded me to perform the next step, but um, their, uh, their funding is a bit more um, symbolic. So they really just want to give us a platform to talk about um, what we're studying, bring awareness to the disease we're studying, and hopefully find uh, funding elsewhere so we can continue with our research, uh, continue to the next step, or um, continue these international collaborations.